Make sure. <laughs> and then I went to the like a pop pot golf and played golf for the time because it's not working. <laughs> so after a while I I went to Dallas. No, Houston, Houston, Rice University. And I asked Smalley, hey, you I read your paper. You said it's going to work. It's not working. Here's my design. I did exactly what you said. He looked at me like that. Two seconds later, he said, you made the exact mistake I made in your edge ways. So what I did was, he assumed that I'm smart. That's very dangerous. <laughs> 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 and, and I realized that I'm not that smart, okay? He assumed that when you build something, and like when you build a car, you know, you, of course you put the engine, okay? You describe the engine, you know? And then he, he assumed that you, break, you put the brake, okay? But my system is no brake. I am building stuff, but I'm not slowing down to see through my detector. And he said, how can you build a car without a brake? Well, I become speechless, okay? So. The, the, the point is, okay, that, you know, we can be so uh, stupid, okay? But I need a brother Smalley to tell me that, right? He told me that, and I'm so happy. I spent a lot of money to go down there, and then I get his wisdom. Likewise, we know. We know. I know, and you know, right? It's good to have a live with a brother in unity. We think we know. And then we make a critical, one critical mistake, okay? We see this, this psalm and read it carefully and construct in our own idea, I, in our head, and we take out Jesus out. It's very easy to take it out. And then we think about things in terms of brothers. Jesus in there. And then we think about why? Why, you know, I cannot, I cannot, you know, get along with the others. Why I cannot, you know, make so much trouble. It's very obvious. Because you put, you, you take out the most important component out. Right? That's what we do all the time. And that's what I do all the time. I take it out. And then the question is then how how we can know our brothers and sisters? Some people said, oh, they, they believe in the Holy Spirit, okay? So they just pray and then suddenly something come up from the space and the hit you and then that's it. Okay, maybe that, that's uh, some super supernatural people, but I believe, okay, let's put next one. 
I believe Carl had spoken to you already. Right? So uh, at that time, at that time when I was struggling with the uh, struggling with the uh, with the uh, experiments, and then you know my father sent me a manuscript, a Roman manuscript, and then he said, I'm studying the Bible to know the chemistry of the Bible. I was so shocked. What do you mean chemistry of Bible? You know, but what is the chemistry of Bible? And I, I said, okay, I, and maybe I'm going to ask him when I get my PhD, but I never asked him. But what is the chemistry of Bible? But I think, uh, uh, basically, when we read the Bible, I realized that I took out Jesus all the time. And I don't see it. And then I, I don't know the, the, the importance of life evermore. And I put my ideas in there. And then somehow I, I lost them. And then that is the point is that when you read the Psalms, Is it for, I realize that it's for me, because this one reminds what you need. And, and then, you know, I was so happy that he dedicated one book for me. And then, what do what you have to do when I read the psalm? Jesus is singing for me. The sun is for us. When Jesus died, I'm pretty sure he, he sang this, his son. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in unity. Any kind of you know love or relationship, you know, without this sacri sacrificial brother love, life no, makes no sense. Any noble novels you read and movie you see, it's like like your love is doing something for you, right? Then we are moved, and we are so 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 or stubborn or stupid or I mean I don't know. And then my I, I had a conversation with my wife. Okay, uh, uh, she was dying. And then I was thinking about, and thinking about, does she love me or not? And then my main question was, okay, all right, who is she going to call? Peter, me, Sammy, or Andrew? <laughs> I, I, I was not, I was not really confident. And I thought in my mind that she would call Peter. But who, she, who did she call? I'm so happy. <laughs> Conceptually, I do understand, okay? I understand that the husband-wife relationship is the most important relationship, okay? But in some way, maybe the cute boy can win, okay? <laughs> but it's not true. When God looks at you, God said, I love you. And we don't feel it. Because our heart is hard. Hard. Until, until you see him dying on the cross. Shedding blood for you. You don't see it. And after you see it, after you, 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 you see him dying, and then you realize, oh, well, maybe he loves me. And then, not only that, it's not the end. He said, I'll make you my brother. You'll be my brother forever. And not only your brother, he says, you'll be my priest forever. And I'll refresh you every morning like a dew. Regardless how you feel, how you struggle, you know, how depressed you are, 
The dew is going to come down. And then, what are you going to do? If you know that, you stay in your closet, pretend that you don't, you don't listen to God's voice. No. We began to hear the God's song. And then you go out. And then you, you, you look at your brother's different way. And then you think about what was needed to make you God's child. In this Christmas time, I want to see Jesus coming down. Jesus embracing us. We can do cute babies, okay? Babies are cute. But I want to see at the same time the blood of Jesus dying for you and singing this song. How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together. Okay, let's go next one. Okay, so my point is, okay, so I want to say that the whole Bible, Jesus coming, celebrating Christmas, is what? And barbecue forever? No. It is not to live with a good and pleasant father. And then we can practice this right now, okay? And then um, we can do this, okay? Uh, let's recite key verse 133 and 1 and then um, uh, pray. Okay, we, we memorize this, okay? I, I, of, course, of, course, of course we memorize this, okay? So who memorized this song, song okay? Paul, you memorize okay? so it? Memorize this, okay? Let's re memorize this, okay? Okay? How good and pleasant it is when brothers live together in the kitchen. Okay, so we, we picked this verse for uh, this semester, and we'll continue on this verse next semester. So when you come back, we'll still work on it, okay? Right? And uh, have a good celebration of learning, okay? That's final. Let's pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for uh, our brother Jesus. We have uh, many different ideas about what is good and what is pleasant. But uh, Heavenly Father, please help us to look at through the eyes of the Father, uh, through your Son, Jesus Christ. And uh, we celebrate Christmas because uh, you came to make us your own. And we thank God because uh, without Jesus, even the eternal life uh, doesn't make any sense. But through our brother Jesus, you gave us our brothers. And then we gave us your grace. And you gave us confidence that we can live with a good and pleasant Father here now and life forevermore. Please grant us this confidence. And when we celebrate our learning through our finals, please be our brother and help us and also help us to grow uh, in our character in Jesus. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.